So October is coming up and I've cleared off a table in this room here for me to build on. Also put a bunch of stuff under this table to maximize my storage efficiency. And then on this table, we have a bunch of pick a brick and stuff as well as other Lego sets over there. This room is a giant disaster and uh, I am feeling very overwhelmed at the moment, but I've, I've made really good progress on what I needed to work on today. So I think I'll call it good for now and uh, come back tomorrow uh, before football and knock some more out. This is an Amazon box uh, I found like a month and a half ago maybe and I had never opened it and I figure I may as well open it now and uh, get it put out with the other set that it goes with the train there. And then I'm also gonna be buying the brand new um, gingerbread house. So that'll be a few winter village sets, but I figured I'd just place it next to it down there so that they're both in the same place. And I can throw this box out because space is of the essence. Just switched my iMac over to a new screensaver. Oh my God, is that beautiful. I had the best bin one for quite a while, but now I'm going for the Imperials. Looks awesome. My video is back. I'm talking with everyone post live stream. Just notice I got a comment and I see the, there's like no thumbnail. I'll show you guys too. There's like no thumbnail. And I'm like, huh, what video is that? And so I click on it to open it. And it's the rumor video that I made and I got a bull crap strike for. They took it back. Today's a good day. Got some Sunday football vibes right now. Wearing my throwback Patriots jersey and uh, I finished UCS Yoda. Here he is, it's UCS Yoda from 2002. It's a bit of an odd look, but uh, I, I've, it's kind of grown on me. It's actually bigger than I thought and the instructions for it are some of the weirdest things I have ever seen. I would, I gotta tell you guys, look up the instructions for UCS Yoda and just flip through them online. Like just look at a few pages. It's built layer by layer. You build it from bottom to top. Very interesting building technique uh, or at least like uh, instructions for this set. I've never seen anything like it, so. Just kind of a weird thing that they did in 2002 with this UCS Yoda. I cannot wait to get the new one and compare them. Going to be an interesting look. Well, the Pats have uh, walked away with this one. I'm about to play some Call of Duty. I'm currently editing another 2020 rumor video. We got some new rumors in, so of course I'm uh, showing off some new stuff here. <laughs> trying to give you guys as much information as I can. Also catching Sunday Night Football, good way to edit and uh, enjoy myself at the same time. And once this is over, I'll probably go to sleep and edit the rest of this tomorrow. I already got MNR memes done too, so good progress. Still can't wait for Wednesday to roll around for uh, <laughs> the Star Destroyer. Oh, it's beautiful. It's Monday and I'm back at Target again because I can't help myself. Unfortunately, the battle packs are not cheaper, but everything else is kind of still here, like the 50% off stuff, but uh, nothing I need. No new sets, unfortunately. Had to check though. Still oh works. my God. But it like, it just, it just hit flat. You just got the new case too. It was, supposed, it was supposed to save the phone, not destroy it. So tomorrow is Star Destroyer Day. I got my Star Destroyer ready. I'm gonna have to clear this off to build it or find somewhere to build it, I guess. I have my uh, alarm set up on this iPad on this stand here for 545 so that I hear it. I can't just press snooze. I have to actually get up to turn it off so it'll just be on and then I'll have to wake up and get it. Um, and then I got my clothes laid out and everything. Everything's ready to go for the morning. I just wanted to make sure I have everything ready to go so I can wake up and go. So that's, you know, watch. Oh, I'm gonna wear that in bed so I have the alarm on it too. So everything's ready. We are ready for tomorrow. And just like that, it is 5.40 a.m. on Star Destroyer Day. What kind of Lego store trip would it be without some Chick-fil-A at night? Well, technically the morning, but there's only one lane open. Beautiful sunrise going on behind me. Hard to see, maybe you can see it better than that. The sun is pretty huge. It's 7.30 and we are just pulling in now. Plenty of parking spots to boot. Should be easy to find one, unlike most evenings or afternoons when I show up. But yeah, gotta wait around for probably 30 minutes and then head in. It's about five past eight and I guess I'm gonna head in now and uh, go get in line for the next two hours. Should be a blast. Not really, I'll just listen to a podcast.
And two hours later, we are back in the car. I got the gingerbread house and the Star Destroyer loaded up. I'll show them to you when I get home. There wasn't much film in the store, so I'm sorry I didn't film a ton in there, but uh, yeah, that's what we got. I was pretty much in and out. No big uh, hassle inside at all. I gotta go home and build for 12 hours. I return home at 11.30 to take my box out. It says don't put on shelf till October 4th. So I guess I just won't do that. And there's uh, the other Winter Village set. I brought my other table in to do my build stream on of the Star Destroyer since uh, I think that I just don't want to stand. So I brought this in so I can use my chair and actually sit at it. It feels weird, it feels small, but it's back. And uh, I'm cleaning it off because it's been out in the garage for way too long. So it needed to be cleaned. My office rewatch continues. We finished filming Bricks and Bits, so I'm back on the Star Destroyer, and I built this off-center. So, that's great. This has to all be shifted one to the left. I am ecstatic about that. Midnight Eastern on the uh, same release day as uh, the Star Destroyer, still building it, watching The Office still. Here it is. This is what I've got done. About to start bag 14. We're on page 336 out of about 470 there. So we have made great progress today. And I got the podcast done. And uh, I still got to do MNR News in the morning. So I'll probably uh, take a break from building this at least for a couple hours tomorrow to do the news because people need to know the news otherwise uh how are you how are you guys gonna know the news if i don't do the news this week like what's who knows what kind of bad stuff could go down but i um i'm i'm stoked i, I just want to get this build done so bad i want to have it next to the old one like oh it's so it's oh it's just beautiful like yeah, i love it i'm on lego.com doing some research for m r news and i see this ad may the 4th is a sham may the 4th is a sham it's been a year and a half since this promo. Why are you the way that you are? On my way to softball, it's an absolutely beautiful day right now. 81 degrees. Hasn't been this cool during the daytime in a long time. Someone actually drives that bus to softball, though. I'm not kidding. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> Friday now, uh, editing the Star Destroyer review. Got about 20 more minutes of footage to get through, watching some blackout on the side. I'm uh, gonna film my Star Destroyer comparison after this so I can finally kind of set my tables back up in a normal way. I'm also considering building the gingerbread house today on live stream. Not sure what I'm gonna do. Also, I have a hookup for episode nine sets. They're coming. So I left my house to get pizza. I look like garbage, but I realized my Target has battle packs for 50% off, I think. So we're going there and I don't care. <laughs> I didn't really brush my hair. I uh, was gonna wear a hat and I forgot to get a hat when I left. And then I was like, ah, screw it. I'm only going to get pizza. And uh, then I was gonna go to Target now. So now I don't feel as great about it, but whatever, who cares? Not, 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 screw everyone else, they can judge my hair. There's a lot of empty space. I think we all know what that's for here in a couple weeks, but uh, they sold all the BB-8s. I think there were like six here, but yes, battle packs, half price. Can't say no. Oh boy. And that is a full hand basket of battle packs. Can't go wrong with that. Just got some pizza and I'm keeping it hot by keeping it in the windshield on my way home. <laughs> Great Florida trick. Pro tip, guys. Pro tip. It's documentary on Wings of Redemption. If you know who he is, you know who he is, but... Uh, uh, there's some gameplay of Modern Warfare 2 in this two-hour video, and I just happened to be looking and noticed Just Too Good played Modern Warfare 2, apparently. I haven't been able to confirm whether or not it's actually him yet, but Just Too Good played MW2, maybe. Interesting. Also uploading the uh, Death, Star, Death Star Star Destroyer review right now. So, I have some mail here. It's cost me 30 bucks. It's the LEGO Star Wars uh droid boost commander boost droid commander one of those two sets um and uh yeah pretty rare set unfortunately the bag is pretty wrinkled but i was gonna open it anyway just a uh, very rare set for the fact that you can only get it if you bought the droid boost set like three months after it came out which is dumb but that's the way they did it patriots released antonio brown sad times i'm ready for it oh it's terrible throw Today is like the first cool day of fall, even though it's still technically summer, I think. But I mean, it makes me want to, it's like 80 degrees out. There's a breeze. I just, I'm, I'm loving it outside right now. I, got, I, I can't, 
I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. It's just one of those days where you just like really appreciate it. It's been a while. And to end this vlog, we're gonna have a romantic evening with the Star Destroyers. You can see them here. We're gonna get, ooh, that, that ambiance. Just not feeling that for the ambiance. Just two Star Destroyers having a good time. <laughs> Beautiful. That is a lot of bits and I, it's making my screen lag and I just died in Call of Duty and I'm very mad about it. All right, so Matthew Hans did some detective work here. And as you can see, someone found Yoda at a store. Didn't say what store, but it looks like a Walmart floor. So that's what we're thinking. Still playing COD though. But I also kind of really, really tempted to go to Walmart and look. Not sure. That's gonna do it for this week's vlog though. If you guys did enjoy, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And uh, I'll see you all again next week on the next MNR vlog. And hopefully I'll have uh, new sets by then or at the end of the vlog. We'll see. Stay tuned. Goodbye, Yoda.